Greetings, and we're back into James uh, chapter 1, and uh, let me read you, to open our session up today, let me read you um, the verses that we're looking at tonight. We're starting at verse 5, James chapter 1, verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. This kind of <clears throat> links into the, the preceding verses where we're talking about trials and tribulations and understanding that God has a plan through all of that, a, a work in that, and so we can rejoice in that. And James goes on to say, if you lack wisdom, you should be asking God for wisdom. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're not understanding these things, if you're not getting it, if you're not seeing the way through, you should ask God for wisdom. Now, um, important that we understand that James's plea to us is, ask God. Why ask God? Um, well, because God knows best. And I think that's something that we all have to kind of grapple with and, and try to understand uh, the reality of, that actually God knows best and we don't. And so if God says something, we should treat that as a higher priority than the things we want to think or say, because he knows best. And to do anything other would be to suggest that we know better than God. Now, we're not told anywhere that we must understand the purposes of God. We're just told that we must get in line with them. And sometimes we understand them, and sometimes actually really we don't. Sometimes it's a little bit of a fog for us. We don't get it. We try to apply human logic, and of course human logic doesn't work because God's ways are higher than our ways. It's complete foolishness to think that we can understand fully the mind and the purposes of God. His ways are so much higher than our ways. His wisdom is so much greater than ours. He sees from a different, from a better perspective, and so we need wisdom from him and not vice versa. He doesn't need our wisdom. He doesn't need us to be telling us how to do things. We need to hear from him, and we need to accept that God knows best. He understands, and he is the source of true, of real wisdom. And, of course, the Bible is full of God's wisdom for us, to help us. Um, but even then, we still don't get it. We still don't understand sometimes, and it can be difficult. I understand that, but that's where faith comes in. That's where trust comes in. If we believe that God is wise, that he is the only wise God, that he is, he has a wisdom which is above and beyond anything that we could understand or, or, or figure out, then we need to just trust that what he says to us is right. We need to trust that the direction that he wants to take us in, that the purposes that he's laid out for us is, are good and are right and align ourselves with that because his wisdom is higher than our wisdom. And so James says, if you lack wisdom, where do you go? You go to God. You go to the scriptures, you go to the word, you go to prayer, and you ask God, what should I do? And uh, James assures us that if we do that, and if we come in faith, that God will help us. So I hope you enjoy this session, and uh, I hope you have a good time unpicking uh, these few verses and, and seeing what they have to say to us and the challenges in them. And as always, I will be back later. God bless you.